everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we're back with another Tut Tut Woo! Oh. Guys, it's my favorite type food. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I have been dying to eat this food in so long, and it is Dan Dan's first time eating my favorite Thai restaurant called hope it's Seriously? literally called hope so in front of us we've got a delicious green curry we've got some fried fish we've got some chicken soy drumsticks we've got pad siu pad thai spicy papaya salad orange chicken taro strawberry and regular boba milk tea and i have a surprise for you guys at the end of this video so stay tuned it's not that big of a surprise actually like i feel like i'm building myself up for a lot yeah. all of this is vegan I feel like I let go of that surprise. I feel like I should have kept it in. Surprise? Surprise. <gasps> All right, let's get started. This is probably my favorite curry that I've had oh, from dude. any restaurant. Dan Dan, you're in for a treat. Bruh, this is so good. And the eggplants are perfectly cooked. So there's a Thai restaurant you used to go to, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It was all right. There's this weird green sauce for the fish things that we've never had. Please try the curry so. and let me know what you think. Ooh, it smells so good, this green sauce. Like, honestly, no bullshit. Okay. What the fuck? Try this dipped in the green thing right now. Right now. Both of you. Right now. <laughs> this is better than my mm -hmm. Then you're what? <laughs> my mom's curry. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I'm sorry. Try this dipped in here. It's good. I don't what know what it is. What is this? It's tofu. What the heck? Mmm. <sighs> No more stuff. I mean, I what? love this one. Yeah. Then you should try this. Wait, I'm sorry, wait, this is tofu? Yeah. It looks like fish. Right? Isn't that crazy? Mm. Oh my god. Holy I'm cow. I'm telling you, the first time I had it, I had no <laughs> idea until oh, yeah. I was eating this. <laughs> and then I just see like chopsticks in here. It's not like, bone. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's not bone? Mm -mm. No, it's chopsticks. It's a fake chicken. So good. Wow. You're the one who recommended it to him? Yeah, I mean, it has amazing reviews. Everyone talks about this restaurant. And I thought it was going to be one of those, like, LA vegan, you know? But it, mm. no, it's so delicious, right? Mm. You can't even tell. I can't even talk right now. I'm I know. Sorry. This is so good. I'm going to dip this in here. Wow. Mm. I feel like I just don't have the words, you know? Wow. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try the orange chicken. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. pad thai good? I swear, everything tastes better than real thing. Like this orange chicken, better <laughs> than real orange chicken. <laughs> no, seriously. It just it tastes so much better. I don't understand. Crunchier. Mm hmm. Texture. Less nice. greasy. Mm hmm. Damn. I thought that Panda Express was good. <laughs> <laughs> this is just perfection. Okay, I'm gonna take one last bite <clears throat> and then I'm gonna get into today's stories. Did you try the papaya salad next to oh, it? This? Mm, I think I like it. Which boba do you guys want? Mm. That's it? Okay. Mm. I don't know why my Koreans for me out when Stephanie it's loves taro. Mm -hmm. So she mm -mm. can have the taro. You pick. You pick. Strawberry, regular, or taro. You pick. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Strawberry. Are you sure you don't like taro? You're the one that said let's order taro. For you. No, you would take taro. Alright, kids. I like, it's really not that serious. You take Come taro. On. I'm gonna oh, take strawberry. Okay, okay, okay. You take regular, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, regular. Bits. What's in there? Looks like a lot of stuff. Strawberry. Oh There's strawberry God. inside? Wow. This doesn't even taste like taro. Like in a good way? Dude, this, wow. This is nothing like George's. <laughs> wow. Welcome to that LA boba. Wow. Are you a basic LA bitch now? I'm LA now. Okay, I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> I am LA. I didn't come to LA. LA called me <laughs> <laughs> and said, hey, do you want to come over? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, what are, what are we talking about today? We are talking about evil people. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this house? <laughs> <laughs> Today's topic is going to be about, do you think that some people are just born evil? Like, how do you feel about people that are young and they kill people? Yeah, probably. I think we're all born nice, but the environment changes us. Mm. So you don't believe that anyone's just born evil? Mm -mm. Today's topic is about a 14 year old and his name is Philip. Now I'm just gonna kind of walk you through Philip's day at school. This happened a couple years ago. No, actually it happened like a year ago, not even I think. True story? 
Yeah. And Philip was in his school one day. He was in his math class and he was wearing this blue hoodie, this bright blue hoodie, and he had it zipped up, but the hood was down. Now, schools have security cameras all over the place, every single hallway, outside, inside, just everywhere. They got security cameras everywhere. He's 14 years old and he walks out of this math class and he walks into the hallway. The hallway security camera catches him in this blue hoodie walking outside, and then all of a sudden he looks around, goes back into the math class, puts up the hood, and walks out as if. No one would realize that is still goddamn Philip. He's okay. very indecisive. In the what? <laughs> in the si- in the in the indecisive. Thank you. Does Dana have an accent? Mm-hmm. I don't have an accent. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think that you don't sometimes? <clears throat> no, you, it's not. Do like- I have an accent. It's not a hard accent. I don't really? think it's like a certain words like quarantine. <laughs> he thought it was quarantine, like corn, the vegetable, and then teen, like a teenager. Hey, but it's okay. <laughs> Why are y'all growing up on me? Literally, right before this mukbang, they were sitting on that kitchen island watching YouTube videos together. I'm like, guys, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Philip, he walks out of this class with his blue hood up. Then he walks into the woman's bathroom. Ten minutes later, mm-hmm. he walks out. And this time, he walks back into the classroom, gets a bag, he changes his hoodie into a red hoodie, goes into the parking lot, grabs a garbage dumpster, wheels it into the school. Mm-hmm. He has a ski mask. He puts on the ski mask. And then a different hallway camera sees him take off half of the ski mask. So only the top part of his face is covered. Uh-huh. Then he passes the hallway, takes off the top part, puts on the <laughs> bottom part. This boy is indecisive as fuck okay like literally indecisive and then later you see him wheeling the garbage dumpster like you know the ones that we have outside mm-hmm. like yeah, just the yeah. um, mm-hmm. residential looking ones mm-hmm. he wheels it outside of the school and then he goes on to walk back into the school after he does that he's very busy what is he doing <laughs> walks back into the school mm-hmm grabs his bag, changes his clothes, goes to the movie theater, buys himself dinner. He left some bags at school, which he doesn't come back for. But later, it'll be very pivotal to the story. At this point, this is what you see on the security cameras of Philip. Now, what would you think Philip is doing? A 14-year-old boy casually walking through the school hallway. He's not running. He doesn't look scared. Just looks like he's, you know. Just rolling around in the trash can? Yeah. Mm, What do you think? No, what do you think? I just believe that he's planning something. Like a a prank. prank. A prank prank would be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indecisive. Like you know those people they put maybe he put some explosive in the trash can. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Interesting. So the trash can is in the school now. It's outside now. Oh, outside okay. of the school. What would you say if I said, wait, Philip isn't 14, he's actually 34. Do you think that he's still just sticking around? Could be. If his mental state is like that. No, he's not. Oh, he's good? Mm-hmm. He just looks like 14, right? Mm-hmm. He's actually 14. But I wanted to see if this age played a role in your answer. Because he wasn't doing any of those. When he was running through the hallway casually, changing clothes, putting on a ski mask, taking off the ski mask, putting on a blue hoodie, putting on a red hoodie, changing his clothes, going to the movies afterwards, during all of that, you will see one other very pivotal person throughout this entire hallway security camera feed. Yeah. Which is this 24-year-old math teacher by the name of Colleen. And she had went into the restroom before he had, the women's restroom, Mm -hmm. and she was wheeled out of there in that trash can and hidden behind the woods in the school, naked and assaulted and murdered. Oh my God. Throat had been slit. And then he went on to take her wallet, use her credit card to go to the movie theater and buy himself dinner afterwards. What the heck? He left her underwear, the box cutter that he used to slit her throat and his bloody clothes inside of a bag inside of his locker. And he casually went about his day. What's wrong with him? He's got a problem? Is that not crazy? No one would expect a 14 year old to do that, especially the way that he walks through the hallway. If you mm-hmm. see it, you don't even think Ted Bundy could do that, shit, to be honest. Like, just the. I would literally, me at 14 walking through a hallway, never murdered nobody, okay? Did nothing wrong. I would still still be walking weirdly because you're 14 you're like yeah. really weird about your body mm-hmm. you're like i don't know i just want to look cool like uh, 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 you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and then you walk and your butt sticking out and your bent all bu- <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what i mean like, yeah, yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah. that in high school the way girls walk it's all like and then like the butts out do you like know what penguin, i'm talking about yeah. so this is how i walk now okay very normal uh-huh. some might say i need to raise my chest a little more right uh-huh this is how i walked in high school okay ready <laughs> Oh my god. Lost my appetite. <laughs> you never saw that when you were in high school? I thought it was just normal. You thought they, they, I didn't know they purposely did it. You thought just female anatomy, like it just their bones grew like that. Yeah, because their puberty starts early. 
No. You know what? <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> He just casually walked by and thought nothing of it. A big debate was, he's 14, maybe he has issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, he obviously has issues, but should he be tried as an adult? Mm -hmm. But while he was waiting trial, he tried to murder a youth counselor. And so at that point, everyone was like, yeah, he should be tried as an adult. Mm -hmm. So not only is he going to trial for a first degree murder of Colleen, his math teacher, which I'll explain the motive. It gets even creepier. But he also Jesus. for attempted murder of a youth counselor who was trying to help him while he was in prison. What the heck is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. Those people are scary. What, what does his classmates think about him? Not know? that abnormal. I mean, it's like regular high school stuff. Some people thought he was weird. Some people thought he was creepy. Some people were like, he's chill. Nobody was, it wasn't a general consensus of everyone was like this guy's gonna grow up to be a serial killer apparently in your lifetime you walk past like 28 murderers or something wow damn isn't that crazy i think that's why you should stay home i thought you were gonna say i think that's perfect people asked for his motive mm -hmm. why would you kill your math teacher some people wanted to defend him they wanted to say you know what maybe colleen was bad maybe maybe it was one of those weird student teacher things you know mm -hmm. but no he came out and he said listen i murdered my math teacher because she insulted me and I needed to take my power back. Yes. So he probably was talking too much in class or answered a question wrong and she probably got mad at him for it and then he went on to brutally murder her at the age of 14. Is that not creepy? That's insane. So what happened during the court? That's what he said during the court? This is before trial. Mm. Mm -hmm. But couldn't the teacher out strength him? No, he was a big 14 year old. Mm. He did not, like, it, like, he looked like he'd be a lot taller than me at 14. Mm. But he was a lengthy ass boy. Do you think he was somewhat born with this? Because it's not like a bad neighborhood. I mean, I don't know too much about his family background or his upbringing. I think like, mm -hmm. he wasn't born evil, but he was grew up in an environment where maybe his family made it worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's so crazy. So do we know? No, we don't know yet. We don't know anything yet. Oh, this is haven't mm -hmm. been tried yet. Ah, oh. mm. sorry, I was waiting for you to explain what the hell happened. <laughs> mm -mm. That's the question of do you think some people are just born evil? Because lots of redditors did digging. So far from what people know, mm -hmm. obviously with trial things change, new evidence comes up. Yeah. But typically with serial killers, they consistently have abuse at a young age, right? Mm -hmm. Not saying that he's a serial killer, but a lot of people assume that he was on his tr on track to be one, right? Because if you kill your, like, murder someone when you're 14, I mean, it's only going to get worse with time. And so they're saying, you know, it doesn't seem like there's any history of any abuse, you know, that they can find. There's, like, it didn't look like he grew up in a bad neighborhood. It didn't look like his parents were exceptionally creepy or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's just very confusing. So it's the question of some people are like... Maybe he was just born evil, like at 14. Like, how can you do that at 14? Mm hmm Yeah. What do I think? Mm hmm I feel like majority has to be... Learned. Yeah. I guess for dogs, too. Like, pit bulls, if you have a bad owner, obviously, it's gonna act up. And that's true. Like, no puppy is ever born evil. What do you think will happen at the court? I mean, I think he's gonna get convicted guilty. I think any, like, any true crime I've seen so far that has that extent of footage, it's something, like, the jury, I feel like, can't unsee. Mm -hmm. So him running through the hallways, just, like, hauling, you know, Colleen in this garbage can. Such regard for body, you know? The next one is a little bit lighter. It's about a website. <laughs> and these are all kind of unsolved mysteries. They kind of have somewhat of an ending, but not really. Okay. Best Thai food experience I ever had <laughs> in my lifetime. For real. And it's vegan. Is that not crazy? Wow. Wow. How's it? Be? Like, it tastes so good, though. Yeah, I feel like it tastes better than regular chicken. This is a website called Mortis.com. Now, it gets very intriguing. Mortis.com was actually found by a bunch of 4chan users. They have a bunch of sub forums, right, where they kind of post a lot of like-minded things. And mm -hmm. one of those sub forums is about technology. And a user had posted about Mortis.com saying, wait a second, this website, I came across it by chance, and mm -hmm. it's been linked to a high-end security firm, a lawyer's office, and a dentist office like they somehow their web pages are linked to mortis.com and it's a very strange web page so once you click mortis.com it just has like this black background with white lettering says mortis and then when you click on it it says username and password 
Mm-hmm. Now, what's very intriguing is that these types of websites, especially when it's not like a Google or a Gmail or a YouTube or whatever that may be, mm-hmm. these are typically easy to hack because these types of websites don't have hella cybersecurity teams. They don't have the crazy IT dudes monitoring every second of every day, making sure no one's infiltrating their back door. Da 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 da. Right? Mm-hmm. These tech people, some of them get off on just hacking websites, not because they want to get money, not because they want to steal something. They just want to accomplish. And their curiosity kills them. And they're surprised that they couldn't hack this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were they're surprised. Like, we have a problem, guys. Yeah, this is weird. And so you know, these are people that didn't have like bad thoughts in their mind. They were just like, "What is Mortis.com about?" And so they posted on this 4chan user, and no one could hack it. Mm-hmm. These people who get on this forum and they talk and talk and talk, and every waking hour they spend coding or hacking, could not get in to a random website、Damn. that. Wasn't as intense as a f- Gmail or a freaking Facebook.、Wow. Nah, I feel like Facebook's easy to hack.、Oh. <laughs> Do you think you could ever be a hacker?、Mm-mm. Why? You need to know how to code. I thought you know how to code a little. Yeah, but I'm not an expert.、Mm-hmm. Do you like coding? At first, and it got so hard.、Mm-hmm. New title for Dan now.、Mm-hmm. Hacker wanna be? A coder, hacker wanna be? <clears throat> alpha Dan? No, I'm Alpha now. <laughs> You're Alpha Dan now. You said f- coding, Alpha Dan. <laughs> They start going crazy over those websites. What could possibly be on here? They're able to do their. I don't really know what it's called. <laughs> They're able to do what they do, and although they can't get access into the website or see what's on the website, another thing that just fueled their curiosity and their intrigue was the fact that there was hundreds of terabytes worth of data that was on this web page, which just doesn't make sense. In order to store that much data, you're not talking about just like a regular, ooh, I bought this domain from GoDaddy.com or whatever, you know? And I'm gonna just fucking. GoDaddy. That's、Square、a different、space. website, man. Oh, <laughs> wait, no, GoDaddy is a domain, no? Website, domain. Oh, it is. Website, yeah. What kind of website are you、uh, on? Oh, <laughs> you, you、huh? dirty. <laughs> you are dirty. Okay. GoDaddy. GoDaddy dot com, and I, I, I got my Squarespace through Stephanie Spons, you know, and then I just, I just, you know what I mean? I just made this website called Mortis dot com. Hee hee ha ha. It's not gonna be one of those things because you're talking about hundreds of terabytes of information and data being sent in in. And out of this web page,、mm-hmm. so these people they get more and more confused. They're like, I just don't understand.、Yeah. They're able to link this website to a high-end security firm, a lawyer's office, a dentist's office, and a man by the name of Thomas Ling. Now, Thomas Ling is a very odd figure on the internet because he doesn't really have a lot associated with him. But somehow, people are able to get in contact with the alleged Thomas Ling that allegedly owns this website. And when he was asked about this website, he gave a very vague response, which then again. And、only fueled this even more,、mm-hmm. and he said, "Listen, I bought this website so that I could store my wedding pictures with my wife on there." And people thought was that was very intriguing because you know it doesn't matter what kind of wedding you have; nobody has hundreds of terabytes worth of footage from a wedding.、Mm-hmm. And also, why it's such the high security? You're talking about ex. Experienced hackers could not get into it.、Mm-hmm. If you are talking about posting your wedding pictures, there's Facebook for that.、Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't set up this intensely high security website for it.、Mm-hmm. And then people started digging some more. He also owns. Is this real? Yeah. What? He also owns a plethora of other web pages. And again, no one could get into those, and it、hmm. just didn't make sense. And then someone looked into Mortis dot com, and Mortis in Latin means death. Uh oh. And so people started getting very confused.、Mm-hmm. Now this is where it gets creepy. The Wikipedia Mortis dot com allegedly had a Wikipedia page made about it from a lot of people because it started getting a lot of traction, you know, a couple years back.、Mm-hmm. And somehow that Wikipedia page got deleted. And there's really not that. Many forums talking about it. You can go and look at archived pages, but you still can't find a lot. And so then it gets even creepier. This is where people are split into half. Some people believe that this part of the story didn't happen, and some people believe that it actually happened. Which is the fact that the common belief—I would say majority of people believe that it did happen—is that the FBI came in and they actually contacted a bunch of people that were trying to get in from the back end of the website、mm-hmm. and asked them, "Do you know about this website? Have you been on this website?" 
before? How did you find out about this website? You know, and that's it. They didn't really give much else information. And then suddenly all of the web pages, mortis.com and all of Thomas Ling's other websites were shut down by the FBI but nobody was given information. Mm -hmm. You sure for FBI? That's what the common kind oh, of, you know, belief. belief is around on Reddit and stuff. Something sketchy happened. But nobody knows what it is. Is there an answer to this story too? No. no? All right then, then enlighten what do you us. Think? All right, come on, hacker CEO. <laughs> hacker Hold Alpha on. Dan. My alpha brain. <laughs> I think inside that website, mm -hmm. it has hundreds, mm -hmm. like millions mm -hmm. of Photos and videos of like dead people him killing people <laughs> mm. Like millions of people. That's why like so many people can't hack it because it's so Secured, mm -hmm. you know, that's mm -hmm. what a lot of people believe that it wasn't him killing But they're like dark web videos mm -hmm. of people with real murders being taped that are just being used And then you have to pay to get logged in damn Well <laughs> <laughs> what about that dude? He Nobody knows where he is. Nobody knows where he is. What? People uh, believe Thomas Ling obviously is not his real name. It was an alias, but they don't know where he is. They don't know who he is. They don't get Thomas Ling. Ling? Mm -hmm. So it has to be Asian. He's right? like, fuck, I know a Thomas Ling. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Asian, right? Ling? Could be Chinese, yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Thomas, honey? Stop trolling. No. Really? Mm hmm. You should have done this earlier. Thomas Ling. Wow, you know him? Wow, so scary. <laughs> Wow. Wow. No, seriously. Wow, what? Sarah what Park? I know a Sarah Park. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anyone to get offended mm. because my parents didn't know any better. But when I was younger, my parents told me that L-E-E, -E, Lee, mm -hmm. is a Korean last name. You would never believe the shock on my face when I went to middle school and there was a woman, no, a girl, not a woman, a, a girl with the last name L-E-E. -E. Mm -hmm. She was not Korean. And you were shocked? I just didn't understand. I was like, <laughs> I was like your daddy Korean, I know. <laughs> And she was like, no. I'm like, don't lie to me. <laughs> you lying to me. <laughs> yeah, I was so shocked. There's so many people with the last name Lee oh, that really? aren't Korean. Yeah, then so shocked. She wasn't even Asian. She's American. Yeah. Oh, she was American. Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> uh, she's definitely a mix then. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. I she wasn't? swear. She it's wasn't. It's American last name too. Well, yeah. Well, congrats to her. <laughs> no. She goes, what's her first name? She 18? She 18? She like alpha? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. Is that it though? <laughs> <laughs> no more stories? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dan. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Next so time, you give two stories with no answers. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry, Dan. Mm -hmm. Next time, I promise I'll come prepared with more stories with more answers. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. my beat. <laughs> Dan, Dan, why don't you tell us some stories? I have none. <laughs> mm, give us one. Come on. What did you steal in middle school or elementary school? Come on. Candy. Candy. Jolly Rancher. From where? Orchestra well, teacher. I was in love with Jolly Ranchers. Oh. She said take one, right? Uh -huh. Giving everyone Jolly Ranchers in a basket. I took like three. <laughs> I do that too. You guys cheated on test before? Come on. Come on. I think Come we on. all, everyone Come cheated. Come on. At least once. Come on. Yeah. When I came to America, it's kind of a big deal, but like in Asia, cheating is like, <laughs> it's like a pretty common thing in it's school. It's necessary. <laughs> Wait, what's the smartest cheating hack that you've seen? They shouldn't do it. They shouldn't do what I did. Just write it here. Bruh. Like, you guys never done the peel the water bottle, write it inside, and then tape it back on? Inside the bottle, you see where it's in there. But you imagine on a test no, you're like too much work no but you, you, you the bottle's on the table you just kind of turn it a little bit just i saw the me. one on tiktok where someone would write in sharpie on a coke <clears> bottle <throat> that was filled with coke <gasps> but then when they move it the words show the words show that's genius coke it's all black but if you tilt it you can see the words <laughs> yeah, kids these days. Kids these Time days. To try that. <laughs> Dude, I want to go back to I'm school kidding. and get better grades with that Coke bottle. One of the most, most, most common ones that mm -hmm. kids do, mm -hmm. where I heard, is that we use pencil and eraser, right? Mm -hmm. Eraser always have a, like a paper. Yeah. Wrap. Mm. You just take all the right on the eraser, st stick back in, and drop it on the floor, and then somebody will pick it up. And there's they take their eraser out, and that's all the answers. That's like basic though. That's Wait. level one. Oh, what's that movie? Did you watch that movie? It's a Chinese movie. Thai. It's a Thai movie. The piano. Oh, it's a Thai movie. Piano? No, it's about um SAT. They went to Australia. Yes, because of they, different time zone. Yeah, but they they the way they cheat is by playing notes uh, of piano notes on the table like. Oh yeah 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 yeah. That one was so Dude, good. that movie was so good. <gasps> yeah. Have you seen that one? Mm -mm. Oh, I told you about that one. You never watched it with me. It's true story. Genius. So Genius. what happened to them? They were doing it for rich kids. Mm. Two 
So these two kids are so smart, and they will cheat for rich kids. They will pay. They will pay them hundreds of thousands for SAT. So they will pretend they're someone else to to take their SAT. That's pretty nuts. I gotta go watch that movie, guys. We're doing movie night. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts, and are you guys shook? Does this look vegan? Don't cheat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't cheat. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.